How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be heading into part 3 of What If Goku Trained Oob Early. In the last part, I asked you guys to vote on who would be the main bad guy for this episode. And after reading all of the comments, Oob was the clear victor. So, we're going to be heading into the Oob Black arc of this part. If you missed the last part, click the link up above to check it out. It managed to thankfully pass its 200 like goal. So, let's see if we can get this part to 300 likes so I can make the next one. As always, huge shout out to all of my amazing patrons for your continued support, as it really means a lot. With all that out of the way, let's get right back into this video. We last left off with Goku and Oob beginning their training under Whis and Beerus. This has been a long time coming for Goku, so he's excited to really show off his godly moves and powers and increase them under a real master. Oob is happy to be a part of this, as the god destruction himself was impressed with him, so he's having fun training with the gods. He may not be the strongest one here, but with the right amount of training, he'll definitely get up there. While these three are off with the gods, future Trunks returns to the present and winds up at Capsule Corp. In worry, Bulma contacts the others on Beerus' planet, telling them to come right away. Goku, Vegeta, and Oob make their way to Earth, in time to give Trunks his Senzu to wake him up. Once he wakes up, Trunks looks around and is happy to see all of his friends from the past, though once he lays his eyes on Oob, he explodes in anger, going to attack him. Goku steps into way and catches Trunks' fist, asking him what he thinks he's doing. Trunks tells him that this guy is the one who's destroying his future. Oob is shocked to hear this. This guy is from the future, and he's the one who destroyed it? Goku tells Trunks to calm down, as this is Oob, and he's one of the good guys. Trunks calms down and apologizes, saying that whoever this guy is, is the one who ruins the future. Trunks explains that this guy showed up after the defeat of Majin Buu, destroyed the structures that were rebuilt, and even managed to kill future Bulma. Trunks can only kind of face him in a Super Saiyan 2 form, but besides that, he's not able to really do much. Goku asks how exactly they dealt with Boo, as here, Oob is the good reincarnation of Boo. Trunks is surprised to hear that, as they managed to defeat Boo without him even needing to be released, so he doubts that this Oob is him then. As if Boo was never truly defeated, then Oob shouldn't exist. The group wonder how Oob can be in the future, until a portal opens up in the sky. Oob Black comes out of the portal, and I swear it's not racist, that's just his name. Oob is shocked to see his evil version of himself, and flies up to him asking who he is, as he can tell this isn't him. Oob Black laughs, saying that he is indeed his future self, though much more powerful. Oob is disgusted by looking at this evil version of him, and unleashes his Kaioken to rush towards the imposter. Oob and Black fight it out, with Black not really trying and laughing at Oob's attempts to hurt him. Oob has gotten stronger though, through Whis, but still not strong enough to really put a dent in this guy. Black is toying with Oob and showing off some magic skill that Oob himself doesn't even know. He seems to have more of Majin Buu's powers than Oob's himself, and is using that to his advantage. With Oob not doing so hot, Goku comes in with his blue form to help him. Black is still able to hold Goku back, saying that the student has now surpassed the master. Goku and Oob Black fight until the portal opens up behind him, and he begins to get sucked back into the future. Before he leaves, he blows up the time machine, and is then pulled back through time. Trunks tries to apologize to Oob for attacking him, as this guy is really nothing like him. Oob doesn't get it. He looks like him, has his moves plus more, yet is nothing like him. Beerus and Whis chime in to say that this imposter definitely isn't Oob, as he had a different energy. This energy feels familiar to them, so they need to investigate this. Beerus and Whis go to check it out as in canon, as the others work on fixing up the time machine. Trunks and Oob get along with them training together, so Trunks can see the real differences between him and his evil counterpart. Oob apologizes to Trunks that he had a terrible first impression of him, though he's really not that kind of person. Trunks knows and says he's had a similar experience with the androids here, as they're good in this timeline, but were the cause of everybody's death in the future. Oob is sorry to hear this and says he'll help Trunks in any way that he can to save his future. Eventually, Beerus and Whis return with information that the future Oob may be a Universe 10 Kai, Zamasu, and the teams are decided to go. The gods will go and deal with the present Zamasu, while Goku, Vegeta, Trunks, and Oob will head into the future to deal with Black. They split off, and in the future, Oob goes to his evil self to tell him he knows that he stole his body. But why would he do that? Black laughs at Oob, saying that he didn't expect him to find out the truth so fast. He took his body since he had the most potential out of everybody. He is the reincarnation of a demon, and can use all of these powers to power up the mortals, giving them access to godly transformations, and increasing the population as stronger for the worst. 
he made sure to stop this evil spreading and take his body for himself to use for his own desires. Oob is enraged to hear this, since his supposed god stole his body to kill everybody. It's extremely insulting, and since he's stronger now after their battle, he's gonna get his revenge. Oob and Black fight once more, with Black pretty surprised on Oob ramping up his Kaioken to fight him more. In a time period of waiting, Oob did journey into the time chamber to increase the Kaioken even more, and it's paying off, as it's giving Black a hard time now. Black says that Oob certainly has gotten more powerful, but not powerful enough, as he says he made sure to power himself up as well in his body. Black throws Oob off of him and begins to morph into his true form, no more holding back. Oob looks in fear as Oob Black begins to change and then eventually reveals himself as Majub. Once Zamasu took Oob's body, he made sure to go one step beyond and force a fusion between himself and the future Boo, creating Majub Black. With the evil energy inside of Oob Black, it's forcing the more evil parts of Boo out, making Black look like a monster. Oob tries to go for the attack on Black, but he just tanks all of the blows and regenerates them, knocking Oob away in pretty much a one-shot. The Saiyans go to help and all fight against Black, but he's got the same ferocity as Kid Buu, and is able to tear apart the Saiyans with no problems. Goku and Vegeta try to work together in their blue states, but since Buu Black has Buu's magic, he fires his candy beam to separate them, and then while they're trying not to get turned into candy, he attacks and knocks them away. Everybody's put on the back foot and realize they're not going to be able to win this one and need to retreat. Every time they land a hit, Black just regenerates and Goku can't even do what he did last time with a spirit bomb since there's barely any life left in this universe to use. Trunks does what he did before in attempting to distract Black while the others escape and the others disappear as Trunks is beaten around hard by Black. Hey everybody, sorry to interrupt the video, but it's sponsorship time. This video is sponsored by Fandom Ion, who sells some really great anime and manga merch, and a bunch of other cool merch with some pretty cool prices, such as Marvel merch as well for all you Marvel nerds like me. If you want to get these fine items for an even lower price, then make sure you click the link in the description down below and put in the discount code DAMON for not 5% off, but 10% off of your order. Again, that's code DAMON for 10% off of your order. Hopefully, you won't regret your purchases. Now, let's get back into the video. Once back in the past, Goku decides to learn the Mafuba to deal with him, as he had that thought against Kid Buu, but since Roshi was dead at the time, he couldn't learn it. But now he has a chance to. Vegeta will just go train in Time Chamber some more, and Oob decides to go to Buu, as he needs his thoughts. Once Oob meets with Boo, he explains to him that in the future, an evil version of them took over, and that the evil Oob fused with Boo forcefully, and he asks how that's possible. Boo says that since they are one and the same, they can permanently combine to become the ultimate warrior. Normally, he should be the one to do it, but he guesses Zamasu learned how to, so he just took over that Boo. Oob is disappointed to hear that this version of him killed both Goku and Buu in another timeline, and has to train with Buu some more so he can try and avenge both of them. Everybody is training to go back to the future to fight Oob Black, until they sense another gigantic energy back at Capsule Corp. Everybody rushes there to see that Oob Black has returned to the present, and that since he used his magic to upgrade the ring, he won't be pulled away anymore. Vegeta asks what happened to Trunks, and Black reveals that he killed him. Trunks wasn't enough on his own against him, and especially once there was a 2 on 1. Through the portal, future Zamasu steps out as well to greet the others, and that they're going to end this timeline as well. Vegeta explodes in rage after hearing that Trunks is dead, and absolutely blitzes Zamasu as he then goes all out against Oob Black. Oob powers up his Kaioken to attack Black as well, until Zamasu gets in his way, revealing that he can't die due to his immortality. Oob fights with Zamasu, manages to put up a great fight, but again, because he has immortality, Zamasu stays in the fight. Even with Vegeta's rage boost, he's still defeated by Black, and when Goku and Oob fight him together, they realize that Mafuba isn't going to take them both down when they're dogpiled like that, and they think they've lost. They weren't ready yet, and now they don't know what to do. Oob is knocked down, beaten badly, and only Goku is left to fight the two off. Oob lays there, watching as his master is beaten, and his sorry couldn't do more to help. This is when Majin Buu appears in front of Oob, saying it's not over yet, and that now, together, they're going to stop this once and for all. Oob asks Buu what he's doing, and Buu says that it's time for them to be one once more. Oob and Buu fuse together, and the true Majub is born. Oob Black looks over in fear at Oob, saying this wasn't supposed to happen, 
and Majub appears in front of Black to knock him away. Majub tells Goku to deal with Zamasu, as he'll deal with this faker. Majub and Black battle it out, with Goku using the Mafuba on Zamasu to seal him away successfully. Though, as in canon, Goku grabbed a wrong talisman, and Zamasu is gonna be freed. Luckily though, since they're at the pass this time, Goku instant transmissions over to Kame House, and grabs the correct one from Roshi, and puts the seal on, to seal Zamasu away for good. Back at Capsule Corp, Majub is kicking the crap out of Black, as remember, two boos are able to really hurt each other. Majub launches his lightning arrow to pierce Black, with his regeneration failing him due to the assault by Majub. Though, he has one last trick up his sleeve, as he fires his chocolate Kamehameha at Majub. Majub counters with one of his own, and powers up, saying with Boo inside of him now, he can utilize all of his abilities to their fullest potential. Unlike Black, who fused with Boo without consent, so he can't use all of his powers to the fullest. Black screams out and tries to put all of his power into the attack, but Majub is too powerful, and is able to push the attack straight into Black, turning him into chocolate. Majub has won! He goes over to destroy the chocolate piece and notices that there are two pieces here. He doesn't know why there's two, and fires his beam at it to turn it back to normal. Trunks then pops out, yelling as he didn't expect to be turned into Kami and shoved into Black's pocket. Majub tells him to calm down as it's him, and they manage to turn U Black into chocolate. He's done now. Trunks is relieved, and Majub gives him the honors of blasting that piece out of existence. With U Black taken care of and the present and future Zamasu's done in as well, the timelines are safe from his wrath. Trunks still needs to decide what to do now, as everybody in his time is dead, and while his future is still there, he knows that nobody's left to return to, so he doesn't know what to do. This is when Whis decides to do what he did before and bring Trunks to another timeline where him and his family are still alive, which I think is still the stupidest thing ever, but hey, it happened there, so I guess we gotta put that in here too. Trunks takes Whis's stupid offer and thanks everybody for the help and departs to another time. With Ube Black defeated, we can now move on to the Tournament of Power arc, though we're gonna get into that next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the Black arc of this scenario, seeing Ube Black and Maju make their appearances. Next time, we're gonna see how Majub holds up in the Tournament of Power, so hope you're looking forward to that. Remember, if this video can hit 300 likes, then I'll make sure to work on the next part. Thank you all so much for watching, and until we meet again, see you later!